Here we have a 2018 68 plate Mercedes Benz E220D AMG Line Premium. Now, this vehicle does come with four superb, unscratched, unmarked 20 inch alloy wheels in gloss black. Now, you also have LED headlights as well as the black Pan America star front grille with the matching black front badge. You also have the black front splitter just down there. And there's a quick look at another superb alloy wheel. Now, stepping back from the vehicle, you can see we do have the panoramic sunroof as well as the blacked out style. And so, you do have the black wing mirrors, black window trim, and you also have the privacy gas on the rear. And there's another look at the superb alloy wheels. Now, we do have front and rear parking sensors with rear reversing camera, dual black tip exhaust, which will flush with the rear bumper, and also the rear diffuser. Now, we do also have a power assisted rear tailgate with a nice, spacious size boot. Now, on the left hand side, you have a storage net as well as on the right hand side. Now it does have a power assisted rear tailgate. Now this vehicle is free from any major marks, dents or scratches. And rear does look superb from every angle. Now there's a look at another superb alloy wheel. Now getting inside, I'll show you a bit of the interior. Now straight to the back, as you can see, we do have half leather and half suede interior. With nice size cup holders in the center with isofix points. And you also have storage bins on the left and on the right hand side. And as you can see just over there we do also have the integrated speakers in the center we do have your vents and then we also have the storage behind the driver and passenger seat there's a look at the driver's front seat as you can see it's moving back now it does move forwards and back to help you get into the rear now the driver's seat is also heated electric in memory as well as the other front seat now on the, here we do have your black ash wood trim with your integrated speakers electric power folding wing ones and also your electric windows now jumping inside the car, just looking over it, you do have your auto lights. Foot on the brake, you do also have your keyless start. Now, as you can see, this vehicle is free from any warning lights on the dashboard and has covered just over 30,740 miles. Now, we do have a multifunction steering wheel with paddle shift on the rear if you wish to take the car into manual mode. You also have cruise control and speed limiter. You have touch pads on either side, one on the right hand side controls the screen in the front of you, and one on the left hand side controls the screen in the centre. Now, being the digital dash, you can change it, so whatever suits your preferences. If you go to design, you can change it from sport, classic, and also progressive. I like to keep it in sport. Now, going back to trip, scroll across to the dial. You can also change what the dial has. You can have the satellite navigation. You can also have the eco display. You can also have the from start consumption, and you also G-Force with your revs, or just your revs. Now coming to the screen in the centre, we do have the big satellite navigation screen. Go to radio, we do have DAB, media connectivity, where we do have Bluetooth audio, scroll across to media sources, you have memory card and also two USB ports. Now you also have Bluetooth phone connectivity there as well. Now press home and go to connect. You'll find Mercedes-Benz apps and link and also Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now we do have different drive modes where we have Eco, Comfort, Sport, Sport Plus, and also Individual. Now, Individual, you can adapt what all those settings do. Now, pop the car into reverse. You can see the rear reversing camera with your front and rear parking sensor just on the right-hand side. Coming down here, you do have your dual zone climate control, which works just as you would expect it. Now, you control it from just down here, and it's displayed just at the bottom of the screen, just there. As you can see, it works exactly how you would expect it to. Now, all around this vehicle, we do have your ambient lighting and your black ash wood trim, which is a very nice addition. Pop this open, you do have storage as well as 12 volt connectivity, place to put your key, and also two nice size cup holders. This is what you use to control everything happens on the screen. So, you do have your drive mode select with parking sensors, parking camera, and also your start stop technology. Your volume, you can also turn the screen on and off, and press this button, and it also pushes out the seatbelt for you. So, it saves you reaching back as far. Soft touch lever armrest with storage just in there as well. And there's a look at the passenger's front seat, again, which is half suede and half leather. Now the front and front seats also have the extended fire support, as you can see, just there. And I'll show you that the heated seats work exactly how you would expect them to. And as you can see, they do. Now to close the pan roof, press that button just there, and then it will then close. And as you can see, it works exactly how you would expect it to. The blind goes back we can also have the blind back going forward by pressing that button again and then the blind will then close 
and as you can see it works exactly how you would expect it to. Now this vehicle has it now this vehicle is available to take away today with free contactless nationwide next day delivery. It's HBI Clear, comes a fresh service and we do offer competitive low finance. Thank you very much for watching. Video test drive of this Mercedes-Benz E220D AMG Line Premium. Now the purpose of this video test drive is to show that the vehicle drives exactly how you would expect it to. Now as you can see, I'm not into fight with steering wheel to keep it straight line, it's going straight and true and not veering off to the left or to the right hand side. Now do you have cruise control and speed limits on the right hand side of the multi-function steering wheel. Now to activate, activate so we can just push up on the dial and it goes 10 miles per hour. Push up by one, it'll go up, they push up very slightly, it'll go up by one and push up until you feel a bit of a click and then it'll just sit there as five miles an hour. Now to cancel, simply just press the brake or press cancel on the steering wheel. Now at the roundabout, I'm going to take a left as you would if you were to drive this vehicle today. Then after the roundabout, I'm going to take it over on the paddle shift just to show that they work exactly how I would expect them to. So currently in fourth, drop it down to third, back up to fourth, into fifth, and then I'm going to let the car take back over by simply just letting go. Now it'll then after a couple of seconds, it will then put itself back into drive. Now, if you want it to go a bit quicker, simply push down on the gear selector and it'll go into drive a bit quicker. Now, I do have the full digital dash in this vehicle. So, we do have the satellite navigation screen in the center, which can also put in front of you on the different dials. As you uh, do have a fully customizable uh, instrument cluster, which is a very nice feature to have. Now, I do have the integrated speakers as well. It's a very comfortable half a lever and half a suede front seat. You could quite easily do two, three, even 400 miles in this vehicle and still go out feeling fresh. Now the two front seats are also heated, so for those cold winter mornings it really does make all the difference. Now the two front seats are heated and electric and memory, as you do have the electric and well, all the functions on the door card just there, as well as the black ash wood trim. Now do you have electric power folding mirrors? And again, we do have the black ash wood trim that goes all around this vehicle in the sense console and on the dash. Now also we do have the pan roof, which is currently closed with the blind open, just so that it has it, because if I had it open, you wouldn't be able to hear me speak. Now we do have the upgraded steering wheel, so you do have the touch pads. So the touch pad on the right hand side controls whatever you do on the screen on the instrument cluster, and the one on the left hand side controls the screen in the centre just there. Now on the screen in the centre we do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well as DAB radio. We do have the rear reversing camera when you pop it into reverse as well as the front and rear parking sensors. We do have a lot of features in this vehicle and it is a very very nice environment to be in. Now here are our car sales, we are a 5 star dealership with over 3 inch 5 star views on Google, Auto Trader and Cargoes. Now if you read through the views our customers really do reiterate the fact how good we are to buy for and how care of a company we actually are. Now if you're test driving this vehicle today, you've been listening out for new ones and knocks and bangs. Now if you've been listening out during this test drive video, there hasn't been any, which is always a bonus when buying a used car. But right now we're going to the industrial state where we're going to take a right and then perform a merge stop and pop it straight into reverse just to show the brakes work exactly how you expect them to. And you see pop up in the centre the rear reversing camera. So we're pulling in now, merge stop in 3, 2, 1. Hard, on the brakes straight into reverse, no issues whatsoever. You can see the camera just in the centre back into drive, again, no issues whatsoever. Now, if you haven't answered all of your questions and inquiries during this test drive and walk around video, please feel free to get in contact with the sales team, where they can answer any unanswered questions and also run through some inquiries with you. But that's it for me in this video test drive and walk around video. Hope to hear from you soon. Cheers.